Hi everyone, welcome back to stream class. Today is all about catapults. We're gonna be making two different kinds of catapults, one using a shoe box and the other using popsicle sticks or craft sticks, whatever you might have on hand. So let's get started. So the first one that we're gonna make is using a shoe box. Now, when you pick your shoe box, you wanna make sure that the shoe box is narrower than the pencils that we use. So this one works very well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first measure some holes that the pencil is going to go through. You're gonna take your ruler and you're going to want to measure three inches from the side sharpie like that and about an inch down from the top of the shoe box okay once you have your holes punched on both sides you're going to go ahead and check to make sure that the pencil will fit through and it will sometimes the, the hole is a little smaller than the pencil so you just kind of go and um, uh, kind of you know rotate it until it fits through and it will once it's at the right size so now you have your box with your pencil in it now you're going to take a second pencil take your pencil that went in the bar in the box and attach the second one right so it makes a T now we're gonna to need to put another rubber band over here, about a finger length down from the, the first one. So let me get that on there. So you can see the two rubber bands. We're gonna go ahead and slide it in here. Now, what we also need to do is take another rubber band with a paper clip attached to it. And we're gonna make a hole on the opposite side, right in the middle. I can do that with my scissors. And then we're gonna slide the rubber band through. Okay, so we're gonna get that through. And you can see that the paper clip on this side is going to be fastening it, giving it some stability. So we take the rubber band and we bring it all the way to the pencil. And we're gonna just put it right here between the two rubber bands that we fastened. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to put one more pencil on top of the in this case the yellow pencil on top of the box and it's going to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and take my rubber bands and just fasten it one end to the other to give it some tension. Take it this way. The last thing we do is we're going to go ahead and attach the bottle cap to the top pencil. And now you can do this either with a hot glue, just put that on and put it on there, or I'm going to use tape. So let me go ahead and get that on there. Okay, so I went ahead and taped the bottle cap to the pencil, and there you have it. Catapult number one. So it'll come back like that. You can hold it from the pencil, put whatever you want in there, and then you release it, and there it goes. Okay, that's number one. So the second catapult that we're gonna be making is out of craft sticks, a spoon, and rubber bands. If any of you attended a class that I did back in February for the stream classes, you may remember making this with me. Um, so it's pretty simple, but it is kind of fun. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So you're going to take six craft sticks. And these can be the larger size like I have here or the smaller size. Three, four, five, six. All right, so we've got six here. 
and we're just going to go ahead and put them together and we're going to secure them on both ends one on this side one on this side all right then we're going to take two more craft sticks and we're going to secure them on one end Then we're gonna open up the two and put the six through them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure this connection right in the middle. That way it doesn't move. All right, now I'm gonna secure the other side. Okay, so we've got the crisscross there. And what we're gonna do is slide the spoon under that cross of the X, and then we're gonna go ahead and fasten it up here as well. I got that down there. So let me take another rubber band. Okay, and there we have our catapult, and we're gonna go ahead and do a few experiments. You're gonna put whatever item you want there, stabilize it by holding it with the other hand, and you'll release it like that. So now that you've made your catapult, the fun part is to see how far you can fling something. You can use anything that you and your grown-up agree on. I have some examples here. I have um, some cotton balls. I have ping pong. I even have my little plastic flying fish. I have a, a ball, I have some M&Ms, whatever you wanna do. And you can see, I put some lines over there and that's to see what goes the furthest. That's kind of an experiment. So let's give it a try. All right, let's give this a try. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, let's try the second one. Not bad. And there you go. That brings us to the end of another stream video. Until next time, you know what I say. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.